Hello, Assalamualaikum. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. A wonderful, a wonderful day, all of you. Welcome to our institution of global version free webinar. Thank you all for joining with us. Thank you all for joining with us in this wonderful webinar. My lovely audience, today I am your host for this afternoon. I am Kamrul from Bangladesh. And it's my humble request to you all that you stay with us till end. And, and don't forget to share, Tag and mention your friends. So let's together and learn together. Before we have successfully completed our 408th webinar today, I would be presenting webinar number 419, and the topic is 21 First Century Language Education. Today we have a speaker from Indonesia. He is assistant professor in University Islam Madura from Indonesia. Let's welcome our speaker to the screen. Hello, so can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. sir give a short description about yourself, then you can study your presentation. Okay. Uh, well, uh, before I start my presentation, I'd like to say thank you for the moderator, for Mr. Kamrul, and then thank for the IGP for giving me chance to share information through this webinar. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, IGP participant. I'm happy to be here with you all. And like what uh, moderator said, that I'm from Indonesia and you know even though we meet virtually uh, i hope this meeting will give some beneficial knowledge or information especially in terms of education well the title of my presentation today is 21st century language learning sorry 21st century language education and i guess it is a wide topic but I will focus my presentation on the aspect of education such as 21st century skill, technology in education and uh, language teachers. Then uh, what is actually 21st century teacher should do or should have? Well, uh, I'm going to start my slide with these wise words. The first one is, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. It is from Nelson Mandela. We have already known who is he. And then the second one is from Sukarno. Maybe it is the first time you hear the name of Sukarno. This is uh, Indonesian first Indonesian president and he said that 
Belajar tanpa berpikir itu tidaklah berguna. And berpikir tanpa belajar itu sangat berbahaya. Or in English, you can say thinking, learning without thinking is useless. And thinking without learning is very dangerous. Then the next slide. In this slide, I will share the definition about language and education but based on the expert. The first one is from Henry Sweet. He defined the language and based on Henry Sweet, language is the expression of ideas by mean of speech sound combined into words. Words are combined into sentences this combination answering to that of ideas into talk. Meanwhile, Alan Bloom uh, defined the education is a movement from dark to light. The next slide. The next slide is about the difference between 21st century learners and 20, 20th century learners according to Doug Allen. Through this slide, I try to remind us the difference in order that we can realize that there are so many differences. And we are now, we realize that we are now in the 21st century. By comparing with the previous one means that we have to prepare ourselves and be ready to face this change. For example, if the participants right now uh, are educators, we, we can design a lesson plan, teaching method, and teach our students based on what they live in this 21st century. Here, through this slide, Doug Allen divided uh, the differences into six points. Those are in terms of group interaction, assessment, centric learning, focus learning, and then uh, teaching style and technology. Well, in terms of group interaction, this is the difference between 21st century and 20th century. In a group interaction, education was more focused on the individual learners combined with an occasional collaborative approach. That was in the 20th century. Meanwhile, today, the educators are more focused on a group of a whole, new development in technology, and a better understanding of the educational process in combination with some federal and state reform have shifted the focus to be almost exclusively collaborative. And the next is in terms of assessment. The assessment was often performed at the specific time, such as at the end of a chapter or periodically during the year or every other year as with standardized tests given by state. The focus was to determine where the learner was. It was uh, what happened in the 20th century. But today, in the 21st century, today assessment is much more proactive. Educators incorporate assessment into learning to provide immediate feedback so they may adjust the interaction to the needs of group or individual as necessary. Uh, the next one is the focus learning. In terms of the focus learning, the focus learning was entire on the content and then students would learn new content with little regard of use. It was in the 20th century, meanwhile, 
in the 21st century today the focus on the real world and practical application of material being presented 21st century student better understand the material because they understand the relevance and how to acquire additional information as necessary and then the next is in term of teaching style in the 21st 20th century i mean information was given to the student by the educator or in this case we can say that it was teacher center but now in the 21st century learner focus on project and problem-based learning student will also develop uh, content and examine the process by which they derive their conclusion and then the last uh, here Doug Allen talk in terms of technology uh, we know it was not as ready available or accessible in the 20th century often uh, literacy or learning about technology was the only thing available to the student meanwhile now in the 21st century students students actually use technology to learn personal devices such as personal computer ipad and data phone are often used to extend the learning beyond the classroom okay then the next slide again in this slide uh, also the same is the difference between 20th century and 21st century approach to teaching and learning according to Saul. Here, let me read for you the differences between 20th century and 21st century approach to teaching and learning. The first in the 21st century classroom, it was time-based, you know, that it was time-based and then focused on memorization and discrete fact, and then passive learning, learners work in isolation, and then like what I said before that it was teacher center means that teacher is center of attention and provider of information. And then the next is little to no student freedom. And then the next is fragmented curriculum, great average, numerical and letter grade score average over all work, typically one chance for assessment per task and then teacher who is a judge no one else sees student work and then literacy is the three rs reading writing and math then driven by the nclb not children left behind and standardized testing mania meanwhile in contrast now in the 21st century classroom According to South here, outcome based. Right now is outcome based. And then focus what students know can do and are like after all the detail are forgotten. And then active learning, learners work collaboratively, student center. In this case, uh, the teacher is a facilitator or coach. And some freedom toward meeting common goal, integrated and interdisciplinary curriculum, great based on what was learned, and then great can be cumulative based on performance, may allow for resubmission, repeatable tasks, and then self-peer and other assessment, 
public audience, authentic assessment. And then right now also multiple literacies and driven by exploration, creativity, and the 21st century skill. Well, it is very nice word here because so wrote 21st century skill in this case. It is what I'm going to share to all the participants about what is the 21st century skill. The next slide. What are the 21st century skills? Here, according to Ledward and Hirata, 21st century skills are blend of content knowledge, specific skill, and expertise and literacy necessary to succeed in work and life. Meanwhile, another expert, Davila, assured that by applying the four GS into EFL classes, we can turn a typical grammar lesson into something magical where teachers have an active role as facilitator and students become inspired, self-guided learners who still manage to work inside of the confines of the curriculum. Well, in this slide, we have the word for GS. Let me discuss it later, and now I'm going to be back to the 21st century. Undoubtedly, 21st century has brought about change in the way people live and learn. Then, you know, uh, the citizenship requires level of information and technology literacy that go far beyond the basic knowledge that was sufficient in the past. And today's we know that jobs market requires competencies such as critical thinking and the ability to interact with people from many linguistic and cultural background or cultural competency. Not only is there a growing awareness of the end of the need for promoting the role of information and technology, or we call it as ICT in the different field of the working life, but you know, is also rising concern over the effective use of educational approach on how uh, to become literate in today's knowledge society. If today's students want to compete in this global society, however, they or the student must also be proficient communicators creators, critical thinkers, and collaborators. That's what we call as 4GS here. The next. Look, these are the 21st century skill that what I said before that it is called as 4GS, critical thinking, collaboration, communication, and also creativity. Well, okay then, according to the Partnership for 21st Century Learning, the four GS are the 21st Century Learning and innovation skills that students should master in their classroom to be prepared for life after school. So it is important to incorporate 21st century skill into education, especially language education or the EFL classroom. 
through this 21st century skill, our students will find the power to be globally competitive in a worldwide workforce and find the ability to face career challenge in, on, in an ever-changing world of technology. In order to achieve our goal, learning goal, we as a language educator can plan a series of activities, organize lesson and develop material to focus on this skill. In EFL classes, lesson can be built up on cross-curricular basis and may have a multiple dimension as to aim at developing for GS. In this case, we or perhaps the IGP participant as a language teacher, as an educator, we need to explicitly teach our students how to communicate effectively in a real life situation, both verbally and in writing to understand the role of effective communication as a global citizen. Cooperate with others and appreciate teamwork. Be creative and innovative to find out different ways to tackle problems and not be afraid of taking risks. Be critical thinkers and problem solvers to sort out the overload of information available at their finger trip. And you know that it is very clear enough that 4GS need to be fully integrated into our classroom, school, and even district around the country to produce citizen and employees adequately prepared for the 21st century. Well, uh, let me explain a little bit one by one the 21st century skill, starting from the critical thinking. What is critical thinking? Critical thinking in the 21st century is described as the ability to design and manage a project, solve problem, and make effective decision using variety of tools and resources. And it highlights the challenge of designing educational experiences that address local issues and real world problem for which there may be no clear answer. And then critical uh, thinking critically requires students to acquire, process, interpret, rationalize, and critically the information. The following slide, here are what should be in critical thinking skill. The first, there are five here. The first is analyzing, reasoning, evaluating, problem solving, and making decision. While for the first one, analyzing is breaking something down into its part examining each part and noting how the part fit together and for the reasoning reasoning is telling what something is or how it works so that others can understand the third is evaluating evaluating is deciding on the world of something by comparing it again and acceptance standard of value then problem solving problem solving is analyzing the cause and effect 
of a problem and finding a way to stop the cause or the effect. And then the last is making decision. A decision made through critical thinking process. And here, the question is, is it critical thinking important or not? The link between critical thinking and education is obvious. Critical thinking and problem solving contribute to the student success and development in the society or their work when they finish school and also help them to make correct and important decision in their life. Teaching this, I mean teaching critical thinking or ask them to think critically to the student is a vital for their development and also with the skill the student can develop others such as higher level of concentration, deeper analytical abilities and improved talk processing. And you know, we have already know that today citizen must be active critical thinkers if they want to success in the 21st century. The next slide. It is very, uh, what is that? It be a good news for us. Why? Because actually critical thinking is a learned skill. It means that it can be developed over time with the right method to improve the learner's critical thinking skill. And here, uh, how do the teacher encourage students to think critically from early age? There are four steps here. The first one is go beyond what and ask how and why. This question will encourage students to think critically. And then the next one, is follow it up with how do you know this? Then the third, remind them to think about how their perspective may differ from other people. And finally, ask them how to solve this problem. And for all the participants or the IGP participant in this webinar, you know, if we want children to thrive in our complicated world, we need to teach them how to think. And critical thinking empowers students to discover the truth in a session especially when it comes to separating fact from opinion. With critical thinking, student doesn't just learn a set of facts or figures, instead they learn how to discover the fact and figure for themselves. The ability to think logically and to solve problems by identifying and describing the problem or critically analyzing the information available or creating the knowledge required, framing and testing various hypotheses, formulating creative solution and taking action. They mean the student often make the biggest impact in terms of setting your student apart when applying for and starting their careers. It was about the critical thinking. And the second 21st century skill is collaboration. Here, the applied educational system defined collaboration as the practice of working together to achieve a common goal. Collaboration means students participate in authentic and purposeful cooperative learning opportunities 
and create new knowledge together. It was based on the syrup and plenty. And then, according to Hammer, the collaboration has essentially been widely accepted as a teaching and learning approach implemented by putting students to work in a group or complete a task to solve problem or to work on project. That was collaboration. Unlike most of the work of the 20th century, which is insist on individual capacity, work in the 21st century necessitates teamwork to accomplish. Therefore, collaboration is uh, crucial because students will probably work to learn with others for the rest of their life. And by practicing collaboration, it can help students understand how to address a problem, fit solution, and decide the best course of action. It is also helpful for them, for the student, I mean, to learn that other people do not always have the same ideas that they do. And, you know, here to build a good team collaboration skill, students must learn to work effectively with different group of people, including people from diverse culture. Be flexible and willing to compromise with team members to reach a common goal. And then last is demonstrate responsibility as a team member working toward a shared goal. And then the skill number three, or the third 21st century skill is about the communication. Uh, communication helps students to articulate ideas and thoughts either orally in writing or non-verbal in various contexts the listener destination can receive the message properly and effectively it is based on the ease and as a language as an educator as a teacher here the several strategies can be done to improve communication skill in the aspect of language teaching among students through a presentation in class. First, simulating newsreader, newsreader or interviews, small group discussion, and panel discussion. That's what we can do in our classroom to, what is that? to improve our student communication skill. Okay, again, language is essentially a mean of communication. And the objective of teaching and learning a language is to enable learners uh, to communicate in it. The FL classes have long been acknowledged as one of the most effective environment for enhancing students communication skill uh, well communication in the context of 21st century skill cover a more complex dimension than it was in the 21st in the 20th century in 21st century communication occurs only by speaking in a group of people. I mean, in this 21st century, communication occurs not only, not only by speaking in a group of people around you or around the student, but also interacting with people from all around the world via technology or we call it as ICT. And, you know, 
the increasing adoption of new technologies like video conferencing, multimedia, and internet technologies dramatically change communication in the 21st century. Like what we have right now, we can communicate, I myself can communicate with you in other country. I'm from Indonesia and maybe you, all the participants right now uh, come from other country outside of Indonesia, I mean. And in teaching and learning process, communication skill can be integrated with the integrated language skill through the student-centered learning approach, particularly cooperative learning or project-based learning in which group of learners work together to complete tasks, solve a problem, create a product together. And to build effective communication skill, student must learn to communicate using digital media and environment to support personal and group learning. Share information efficiently and effectively using appropriate digital media and environment. Communicate talk and ideas clearly and effectively to different audience using various media and format. Oh, sorry, I'm in this slide. Uh, the last one is about creativity. Well, uh, creativity, wait, wait a minute. Creativity is the emergence of a novel relational product growing out of the uniqueness of the individual. It is based on the Carl Roger. And then creativity is marked by the ability of power to create, to bring into existence, to invest with the new form, to produce through imaginative skill, to make or bring into existence something new. And assessing creativity. Here are some characteristics of creating uh, of creativity that can be woven into classroom instruction. The first one is curiosity, means that probing, asking questions, seeking deeper meaning. And the second, fluency, production of number of ideas. The third is originality, ideas, ideas that are novel, fresh, unique, or unusual. And then number four, elaboration, means that ideas that display intensive detail or at existing detail. Number five, if imagination means that dream up, even invent new ideas of product ingenuity. And then number six is flexibility. It means that ideas that show a variety of possibility. And then talking about the 21st century skills in education. Teaching and learning in the 21st century develop skill beyond listening, watching, and remembering. Education in the 21st century incorporate advanced learning tools developments of skill while actively involved in your own learning and environment. 
Also, education today is motivating while inspiring and preparing students for today's world. Students gain the ability to adapt when needed for the changing world of tomorrow. 21st century education is understanding how students learn with a more hand-on approach while building skill. In 2002, Partnership for 21st Century Skill, or we know as a P21, was founded by the National Education Association, United States Department of Education, and other organizations interested in supporting school, district, and state in the integration of 21st century skill and technology into education. Also, providing resources to facilitate such effort. Then, the six year later, exactly in 2008, P21 proposed a framework for 21st century learning to ensure student success in constantly changing world. In this framework, it was argued that 21st century skills are an indispensable currency for participation, competitiveness, and achievement in today's global economy and suggestion for promoting such skill were provided. In terms of language teaching, according to Jerzykowski, and Bertie here, they said that 21st century skill should be the main conceptual framework used to create up to the curriculum so that learning goals can be aligned with the demand of the labor market. And the use of idea practice is emphasized because as a holistic field, ID can help create consistent, meaningful, and effective learning experiences. And then the use of technology to support learning experience. ID here refers to instructional design, uh, such as designing course, designing courses, programs, assessment, curriculum plan, to test overall consistency, coherence, and effective of instructional process and procedures. Well, uh, another interesting topic that I'm going to share through this webinar is about the teacher talking about the education you know the one of the important aspect of education is a teacher now the question for me myself as a language educator the question also come to in my mind that uh, Am I 21st century teacher or not? Or maybe the participant right now want to be a teacher and the question for you, are you ready for the 21st century teachers? You know that in education, teachers play important role in teaching and learning process. The success of learning objective is also depending on the teachers. Therefore, the teacher must have certain competencies. 
like what I said before that are we ready are you ready to be a 21st century educator as I told and explained before that there are so many difference between 21st uh, 20th century and then 21st century and now we are in the 21st century so we have to be ready to be a teacher in this 21st century well in today's classroom the students have diverse background a variety of achievement level and different learning style which will all affect their ability to acquire knowledge so the teacher need to move away from the traditional method of teaching and bring into classroom new and innovating approach to teach the content and lifelong skill it is important to utilize a variety of technique for the children to build their honest understanding through real world application and interaction with their peers. Moreover, again, based on the partnership framework for 21st century learning, teachers are involved as one of the support system, namely in professional development to embody excellent 21st century student outcomes. The embodiment of effective teacher should be begun with the understanding that teachers should have certain characteristics as effective teacher in 21st century I mean in, in the 21st century and now uh, here according to church uh, there are eight characteristics of 21st century teachers number one is adapter number two is visionary and then the third collaborator the fourth the risk taker and then the fifth is the learners the sixth is communicator and the seven is model and the last number eight is the leader And for the adapter, teachers can adapt the curriculum and dynamic teaching experiences covering different learning styles. They grasp the concept that 21st century educator education is not one size fits all. The teachers adapt model of teaching depending on the needs and interests of students. The second is visionary. Teachers must see the potential of the use of tools and web technologies in their class. Looks across the discipline and curriculum. Relate other field to reinforce their own teaching and the learning. The third is collaborator. Teachers collaborate with technology tools and with students or fellow teachers in terms of sharing, contributing, adapting, and inventing. And for number four, the risk taker means that teachers take risk and sometimes surrender to the student knowledge. Number five, the learners. Teachers become the best of lifelong learners. Be ready to change and learn as the education 
changed. Uh, now, even though we are a teacher, we have been a teacher here, it does mean that we stop learning. No, life is changing, education is changing, and we as educator should learn and learn and always learn. And then number six is communicator. Teachers are fluent in tools and technologies that enable communication and collaboration with students, colleagues, and parents. And then number seven is the model. The model here means that teachers should be the model to teach moral value, to understand, uh, I mean, the moral value to the students, such as having tolerance, acceptance, and global awareness and reflection. And then it is the last, uh, the characteristic of 21st century teacher based on the churches is the leader. Means that 21st century teacher are leaders seen the teacher are the champion of ICT integration process. Then they set clear goal and objective to successful learning. And here again, uh, with about the language teacher competence. Here, according to Brown, there are four competences that should be had by the teacher. Number one is having technical knowledge. Number two, having pedagogical skill. And then number three is interpersonal skill. And number four is establishing personal quality. And for the first one, for number one, Having technical knowledge means that teachers have fluent competencies in all language skills. And then the second one is having pedagogical skill means that competent in utilizing appropriate approach and techniques in teaching and principle of classroom management. And then uh, interpersonal skill means offer their competence to be connected with students in positive report and to cooperate with fellow teachers harmoniously. And then the last one is uh, establishing personal quality, means that teachers maintain high ethical and moral standard by actualizing well-organized dependable and flexible characteristic. <laughs> then we go to the integrating 21st century skill into language teaching. In this era of globalization, a successful language class must open up the space for the learners to experiment with 21st century skills. Therefore, the curriculum and educational decisions should be reviewed and redesigned to integrate future skills explicitly. And then, according to PG 2009, innovation skill, media, information, and ICT. Literacy and real life experience in the context of core academic subjects. Therefore, curriculum in the 21st century 
should focus on the construction of knowledge and encourage students to produce the information that has value or meaning to them in order to develop the skill. And then the teachers play a significant role in helping students develop 21st century skills by applying methods that increase student ability. Therefore, there are many strategies that can be used by the teacher. Or I can say here to often this, we can use problem-based learning and project-based learning. Well, now talking about technology used in a language education. We are agree that when we're talking about 21st century, it's also talking about the, the technology. But for state that technology changed the role of the teachers in the classroom. One of the change is that teacher is not again the only accessible source of knowledge. Do you agree or not that right now in this 21st century, students use technology outside the classroom in their everyday life? Therefore, incorporating it into the classroom activities is extremely beneficial for the learners since they understand it, pay attention to it, and like to use this type of media. Again, the role of educational technology in language teaching has changed significantly over the last decade. Previously, its use in language teaching and learning was only limited to text and simple exercises like chat filling and multiple choice drill. The recent development in technology and pedagogy allow us to integrate computer technology into language teaching and learning to a greater extent. Multimedia resources and internet access facilitate students uh, immersion into rich environment for language practice and promote learners autonomy. A student can easily explore language use in authentic context in which activities, I mean, which activate their motivation for communication, increase their interest and improve their electronic literacy skill. In addition, modern technology aims at making language teaching and learning more flexible and student learning more autonomous. And it is also what uh, happening right now. If we talk about the technology, we are now in the in the pandemic situation and you know this is one of the advantages of the technology, even though we are in a pandemic, but the teaching and learning process in the, uh, can be still done through the technology. There are so many technology that the teacher can use and bring it to the classroom. And here, in this slide, I'm going to read the, the plan technology in the class into language classroom based on Sharma and Barrett. Uh, they divided technology into two parts. First is online tool, and the second one is online tools. For offline tools, type of technology here, there are electronic dictionary, word processing tools, and interactive whiteboard. And for the language learning skill, 
for the electronic dictionary, it could be searching skill, pronunciation practice. And then for word processing tools, it could be writing and editing skill, research skill, file management, reading comprehension, and presentation skill. And for the interactive whiteboard, it could be dynamic presentation skill. And for the online tool, there are computer mediated communication, for example, like email, chat, and text messaging. And for the blended skill, language learning, it could be interpersonal communication skill, presenting information, uh, critical and analytical thinking skill, writing and editing skill. And then the second one for online tool is the World Wide Web. It could be a web browser, search engine, and for the blended skill of language learning, uh, authentic learning experience, research skill, organizing skill, critical and analytical thinking skill, summarizing skill, and also evaluating skill. And the last is where we have web 2.0 technology like blog, wikis, podcast, social networking, uh, the language skill that can be achieved uh, first is authentic learning experiences, interpersonal communication skill, research skill, organizing skill, critical and analytical thinking skill, summarizing skill, and the last is evaluating skill. These are the what Sarma and Barrett and Lewis proposed to how to blend technology into language classroom. And here, Murray and McPherson have shared how uh, to use the word wide web to support language learning, which can be categorized into following group. The first one is finding and selecting information on website using appropriate website for language learning practicing listening using video or audio posted online, increasing reading skill on the web, learning language feature through the taking content subject on the web, using webcast as a platform for designing language project, and interacting through the use of learning management system, and the last is designing website using appropriate language form. Again, uh, Lewis, here the proposal from the Lewis that there are many beneficial of web to panel technologies to teach to teachers and to students. The first one, There are many inventories of authentic material available in various types of media, such as text, photo, pictures, audio, and video. Those kind of media can be brought to the classroom to teach a language uh, to the students. And then the next one is they have an increased interactions among people from different parts of the world who share the same interest, creating a sense of community of practice. And then the next is the platform provided on the web allows students to create and authorize their own content faster, more professionally. And uh, let me share a video. Wait a minute. Can you see this video?
moderator how to play this video Mr. Kamrul Hello the moderator How to play this video? I have already said. No. Hello, Mr. Campbell. Which one? This one? Live Studio? No. Hello, Mr. Kamru. Could you help me to play the video? Okay, then. Uh, I think there's a trouble on playing the video hello yes sir we have a restriction from youtube that we can't play anybody can't play anybody on stream yet okay okay then uh, let me continue and actually in this video i want to share uh, an assignment English language teaching for all the participants, but it's okay. Uh, let me conclude my present conclude my presentation. The first is language education should be integrated with the 21st century skill, and teachers should be able to encourage creativity, develop critical thinking skill encourage collaboration and make students feel empowered to learn and that the language education does not only occur in the classroom and should not stop after the learners leave the classroom teacher and students should use technological devices in order to provide interaction between language learners and teachers today the internet connection and mobile devices are most popular and useful in the language education uh, i think that's all my presentation thank you for all the participants and i will give it back to the moderator thank you very much sir for your wonderful presentation yeah. sir also we are very sorry for that we can't play your video on Streamyard. It's a copyright okay. issue from YouTube. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Sir, you, have to, wait, you have to wait on the back stage. After which competition, we will come back together with our question and answer session. Thank you. Yes. Welcome. Dear participants, it's our quiz competition session time. Let's enjoy the video. Today our quiz code is IGP quiz. The code is
dear participants already 15 participants join with us For quiz competition, you have to go to slido.com and the quiz code is IGP quiz. And you can scan the barcode also. For a few seconds later, we start our quiz competition. So join in a short time. After quiz competition, we proceed to our question and answer session with our speaker. Twenty participants already joined. Let's start the quiz competition. Our first question, breaking something down into its parts, examining its part and noting how the parts fit together is the definition of dash in crucial thinking. Is it amazing or reasoning? And the four person of our participant give the right answer and the answer is analyzing. On the leader board, Ryan Lipasana leading the first position. Next question. Talking about creativity, the ideas that show a variety of possibilities is the term of dash flexibility or originality seventy nine percent of our participants give the right answer and the answer is flexibility on the leaderboard now, Alex Xavier Alvarez leading the first position. Our next question is, a student center is the characteristics of education in the 20th century or 21th century? Ninety-six percent of our participants give the right answer, and the answer is twenty-five, twenty-one century. On the later board now, Lazel A. Uh, Cavaldon leading the first position. Our next question is: The practice of working together to achieve a common goal is the definition of dash critical thinking or collaboration.
96% of our participants give the right answer and the answer is collaboration. On the later board, now Lazel leading the first position. Our next question is, which one of the language teacher compet competence based on Brown, the leader or having pedagogical skill? Seventy nine percent, seventy seven percent of our participants give the right answer, and the answer is having pedagogical skill. Our next question is according to Brown, how many competences that the language teacher should have? Four competences or eight competencies? Sixty-seven percent of our participants give the right answer, and the answer is four competencies. On the later book now, Mark Joshua Diogo leading the first position. Our next question is: According to Sharma and Barrett, and laws interactive whiteboard include as and dash offline tool or online tool. Forty-two percent of our participants give the right answer, and the answer is online tool. On the later board now, Lee Pakunla leading the first position. Our next question: Dynamic presentation skill is a skill which can be achieved by applying dash interactive whiteboards or word processing tools. Eighty-eight percent of our participants give the right answer, and the answer is interactive whiteboards. Our second last question: Thinking critically requires students to acquire, process, interact, rationalize, and critically the information. Is it yes or no? Hundred percent of our participants give the right answer, and the answer is yes. Our last and final question: Information was given to the student by the instructor. It is a characteristic of the learners in twenty-one first century. Is it true? Is it yes or no? Seventy-two percent of our participants give the right answer, and the answer is no. Congratulations of our top ten participants. Quiz competition winners. Receive their quiz certificates from our Facebook page. Dear participants, let's we proceed to our question and answer session. After a short video clip, we come back again.
sir. We'll come back. Yes. Yes, Mr. Kamal. Are you ready to answer the question? Yes, I'm ready. Thank you, sir. Dear participants, it's our question and answer session time. You can send your question in our comment box. Our speaker is now ready to answer the question. So if you have any question, you can freely ask. So participants are requested to ask their question in our comment box. Question in answer. Question in answer. Question in answer. I think it is, it has been clean also, there is no question. Dear participants, we are still waiting for our question. That our first question from Mamie Bali. Good afternoon, sir. I just want a clarification. Is interactive white balls balls on the offline tools? Well, thank you for the question from Aplin Vapori. Yes, here, based on the Sharma and Barrett, and they classify interactive whiteboard into offline tool. So, what I what I explained before that based on the Sharma. So, thank you for your clarification. Yes, Sharma Barrett. Uh, classify interactive whiteboard for offline tools. Thank you, Evelyn Webry. Thank you, sir. Our next question from Java Javi. How do you relate the senior teacher who doesn't understand about IT? That's, uh, thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you for the question. That's, uh, be a problem for for us for for the edu in education for the teacher how the senior teacher if they cannot operate the computer and of course the learning process teaching and learning process in the classroom is not run well and it is not actually the 21st century teacher teacher but how like what I explained before that the teacher in the 21st century should be the learners. So the teacher should learn, learn, and learn. There's so many, uh, what is that? Activities that make the teacher who doesn't know, who doesn't understand about the IT. So. I suggest that the teacher should, what is that, enroll such as kinds of the, what, what, what is that, the training, the training and the teacher must be able to understand about the IT itself. Thank you, Boo. Thank you, Miss Jeffin. Thank you for that question. So, thank you, sir. 
recognize education from the long run. What are the essential or importance of 21 first century education? The essential or the importance of 21st century education, you know that in this 21st century education uh, can give the students the skill that need to succeed in this new world and helping them to grow the confidence to practice the skill. So it is very, very important uh, for their life after school. Thank you for the Nilomar Mercado. Thank you for the question. And I think the 21st century education is very, very important. And then Thank you, sir. Our next question from Ma'am Maribel de la Cruz. Why is developing the forces signification for the 21 first century learners? Okay, then Maribel de la Cruz. Thank you for the question. The question is why is developing the forces as significant for 21st century skills, 21st century learners? And I guess the answer is a little bit the same with the previous questions that uh, the learners do not stop after learning at the school. They, like what I told before that, it can give the student the skill they need to success in their new world, in their life after schooling so for gs is very very significant for the 21st century learners uh, teach them how to communicate with all the people all over the world not only the local people but now the learners can communicate to other people all over the world and then the ability to think critically like what I have told before, the student have to be able to think critically. And then talking about the creativity in the field, in the job, field work, the student, the student, the learners in the 21st century should be able to be creative. Thank you, Maribel de la Cruz for the question. I think that's my 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 answer. Thank you, sir. Our next question question from Angelica. Hello, sir. I would like to ask about the advantage and disadvantage of 21 first century curriculum to the students. The question from Angelica Niebres. Sorry, is it correct? My pronunciation? the advantages and disadvantages of 21st century curriculum to students. Well, the advantages. The advantages of 21st century curriculum, I guess, uh, the students, the teach, I mean, the teaching and learning process in this 21st century can be integrated to the job, to the real, to the real life, to the real, what is that, to the real life outside of the, the school. This is the advantages of the 21st century curriculum. And then for the disadvantages, 
in my opinion the curriculum and the 21st century a little have uh, disadvantages for the learner because I think the curriculum in this 21st century uh, can ensure what the 21st century learner needs or the student need. So there are so many advantages of the 21st century curriculum. Like what I have explained before that the teaching and learning process in the 21st century, it was a teacher center. So what happened in the past what happened in the past, the student only listened what the teacher taught in the class or the learning sources almost come from the teacher. And now in the 21st century, the curriculum in the 21st century, right now, there's so many, what is that? Cooperative, what, what we call it is uh, collaboration between teachers and the student. So, I think the advantages is, uh, I mean, the curriculum in the 21st century gives so many advantages for the today's life. I'm sorry, Angelica, that's my question. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Our next question from April Menlolo. How are you going to convince the teacher who are not used to 21st century education or learning to still promote or improve the language learning or teaching through the use or integration of new technologies, for example, the use of PPT presentation in language teaching? Thank you, April Mandlalo. That's the, the question is the same as what Ms. Jeff, uh, Javantin, the previous uh, question that this is a very, very, what is that? Our problem, if the teacher cannot use or cannot understand the technology, they cannot teach using the technology in the classroom. So, uh, I think the teacher who are not uh, technology literate, I think they will find it difficult to face the 21st century uh, learning, 21st century need of the student. If the teacher, for example, cannot use PPT presentation in language in language teaching, so I think the classroom environment or the teaching and learning process in the class will not uh, run well, I guess. Thank you very much, sir, for your presentation and giving us your valuable time. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Dear participants, today our program name is 21 First Century Language Education. And the code is IGP4876. The code is IGP4876. Without code, no one is eligible for certificate. With code, you can claim your certificate anytime. To claim your certificate, you have to go to our website. Our website name is eduigp.com. eduigp.com and the code is IGP4876. The code is IGP4876. 7, 6. Thank you for joining and successful this webinar. Thank you.